Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs HD, and today we're showing you how you can create the RGB split in After Effects. The final outcome will look something similar to this. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to have your clip in After Effects. I've just got this basic picture here of my school, section of my school anyway. You want to center it up. Why has it got the blue thing? I don't know. Anyway, so you have the picture there. Then what you want to do is you want to add some basic color correction if you haven't already in Vegas or whatnot. And yeah, I'm just going to add some curves, create a little S shape just to give it a bit of contrast. A bit too much, very bit, it's kind of subtle. Then when you've added the curves, you can go to effect while hovering over that effect, color correction, and go ooh, effect, color correction, and go to CC toner. Then change the mid tones to a dark blue sort of color. And then click blend with original to about 35, between 35 and 40 percent. And so that just gives it a nice darker tone. And then when you've done that, you can pre compose the layer by holding over it and go to layer pre compose. And just click OK. Doesn't matter what you call it, call it something if you like that. If, you, if, you, if you're one of those people, I probably am, but not for this tour. Uh, then you can go to effect channel and you go to shift channels and then go to take alpha from alpha and then take red from full off and just take full off for all the rest and leave alpha for take alpha and then what you want to go do is you want to click control D twice so you have three copies and I like to change the bottom one to a nice to a blue color and the middle to red red no, green actually. And then the top to red. Now this is like the blue, green and red that you'll be using for the red, green, blue tutorial. Uh, this is this is just a quick way so you, it helps you remember. So for the blue, you go to take blue from blue. And then from the green, you go to take green from green. And then from the red, you click take red from red. And as you'll see, that will create a nice red tone. But then what you want to go do is you want to change the mode on all of them to add. Now if the mode's not showing up for you guys, just hit F4 and it will alternate between the two panels. And just change all of them to add. And it just you probably have realized that nothing really much has happened. Now what you want to go do is you want to hit S while hovering over one of the top two and change it to 101. That'll then make it a bit larger so you can so you can see the outsides of the green. And then on the top you can hit S again and you can either change it to 102 or 99. Doesn't really matter, they both do the same job. Uh, and there you go, as you can see there it gives a nice RGB split tool. Uh, one thing you could do to touch it up is highlight them all and go to layer pre-compose, compose again and uh, then go to then no well actually you want to duplicate the layer by clicking control D and then on the top layer go double click the uh, hold click and hold go to ellipse tool double click it and you see a mask circle will fill the whole screen and then what you want to do is you want to go to effect and generate and you can go to a radial blur the normal generate sorry guys don't know what my mind's in at this state at the moment. Radial blur and just tick inverted so apply to the outside. Click down on the arrow, increase the feather so it blends in more, and lower down the amount to about two, no, three. And that just gives a nice, I don't know, gives it a nice feel. Now that's it for today. So I've seen this used quite a bit of times. I'd like to thank. The Zik and also I think it is Wolverine Pictures. Uh, the Zik was the one who told me about this, and then I actually got the tutorial from Wolverine Pictures. Um, I did not find this out. I watched the tutorial to find this. I'm just simply giving it a broader audience. Uh, the two names I just mentioned will be in the description. Uh, check them out if you wish. And I'm Connor with Chrome Designs, and I'll see you guys later.